Jennifer Lopez had recently given an interview for Apple Music with Zane Lowe. The interview was different and stood out from her interviews after her recent marriage with Ben Affleck. She had revealed a lot about her personal life and opened up completely about her reunion with Ben and her relationship with him presently. She explained about her feeling of getting back her soulmate after almost 20 years and how she had felt about her breakup with the love of her life then. What do you think she had talked about? Had she broken down? Does she feel the same love this time around? Let us find out together. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not till now before you leave. Jennifer Lopez who is rocking her 50s and her now husband Ben Affleck who has recently joined her in the 50s club always scream their love out of every rooftop every single chance they get. They are frequently being photographed kissing and hugging and another major event is that Jennifer has even dedicated a song on her new album to Ben. It would almost make you forget that they broke off their engagement 18 years ago, which made Jennifer feel devastated with grief and that she felt like she was dying, so she told in an interview on Apple Music One. We all know that feeling when we break up with someone and we feel absolutely terrible. Even when you know it's the right decision, there was definitely a reason for you two to be together in the beginning. Breakups are always painful, even for the most beautiful and successful people in Hollywood. Jennifer and Ben began dating in 2002 and were one of the most popular and written about couples. They were also known as Benifer a name put together by their lovely fans. They dated for almost a year and a half after which they decided to get married. The two lovebirds met each other on the sets of a movie they were doing together, both were in other relationships at the time though, their chemistry was undeniable though. It appeared as if they had clicked right away with each other both on and off screen. Soon Jin divorced her then-husband and soon started dating Ben. They faced a lot of speculation about the scenario but clarified that the divorce had nothing to do with Ben Affleck. They were a couple who were never shy in front of the media and each had appeared in both people's movies and music videos. Ben had proposed and Jen said yes soon. The same month, Ben appeared in her music video Jenny on the Block. The two faced immense pressure after the engagement went public and ultimately decided to break it off reasoning that the pressure from the media was unbearable and all of it was getting onto their heads. The news had hit the world like a bomb and everyone wondered why they had done it in such short notice that two so close to the wedding. She said that, when we broke off our engagement 20 years ago, I was so heartbroken. I had never felt like that before. I really had the feeling I was dying. I found myself in a negative spiral where nothing seemed to be working for me. What made the breakup extra painful was the fact that all the songs which were about Ben were a big hit. The song I'm Glad is a great example, as in this one, Jennifer sings that she's so happy that she met Ben. When Ben and Jennifer got back together, he pointed out on the fact that she had never really sung any songs about him live. Jen had replied by saying that it was absolutely true and that was too painful. It was a part of me I had to put away to survive. We each had our own path to follow and we have done beautiful things. But when we were back healed and on our own feet, the universe brought us back together. Jane Lowe and Ben sure have rekindled their relationship, and fans are going mad over the reunion, that too after so long. Jen has said on multiple occasions that Ben is her one true love, and she regretted deeply after losing him 20 years back. She feels on top of the world after her marriage, and we all know about the proposal and the simple minimal wedding they had. The wedding took place in Las Vegas, and the two had opted for an intimate wedding. Julo looked beautiful and absolutely gorgeous in a white lace off-shoulder Zane Murad gown. Jane Lowe's kids were present for the ceremony and looked very happy to be a part of it, but Ben's kids were not seen and their presence remains unknown. There is one thing that Jen and Ben have not revealed about after their marriage. We know they are happy, but how do they feel about rekindling after so long? How did they reunite? What all difficulties did they go through after their breakup? There is a ton more information for us to know and all this is what we're going to uncover. She had recently appeared for an interview with Zane Lowe for Apple Music to promote her new album, This Is Me. Now this was a sequel to the 2002 album, This Is Me, then which was inspired by her current view and soulmate Ben Affleck. She opened up to Zane Lowe and told him about their journey back to each other after 20 long years. She started by saying 20 years ago, I fell in love with the love of my life. I was working on an album and it was called This Is Me. Then, it was all about capturing that moment in time. Now the most amazing, incredible, unbelievable thing has happened. The reason we're here is because I want to capture this moment in time because it is even better than the first time. 
she had revealed that that album, This Is Me, then really captured a moment in time where I fell in love with the love of my life. It's all right there on the record. I didn't even realize what was happening and what I was doing. It was just every day going from the set to the recording studio, doing the thing, being in love, him coming into the studio, writing, I'm glad and going, this reminds me of, you know what I mean. Me tweaking the lyrics with him. Every single song that we wrote there, me writing, Dear Ben, it was such a special moment in time to have captured. She further explained about how they had met on the sets of their movie together and just got along very well. They had started off as friends and gradually fell in love, just like how it's meant to be. Something in her mind said that this is the person I want to be with. When speaking about how she had to call off the wedding, she said that the media was the reason, it was a new thing and it destroyed us. That was part of what destroyed us was the outside energy that was coming at us. And we loved each other. It was hard. After going their separate ways, she revealed that she had gotten in a track of things like how people had predicted it to be. She was heartbroken and scarce in terms of work. She just was not getting any work. She tried her luck with everything from television shows to music videos. Ben, on the other hand, had started to explore directing and succeeded in it. He had gotten back-to-back -back Oscars. When commenting on her getting back with him, she revealed that I think now that we're older, we realize it's much more clear because even in then when we felt that way, now we know. Now we know. And there's no questions and there's no kind of like, well, let's see how this goes. Like, nope, it's me and you. That's it. All the way till the end. That's it. It's going to be us. She further reveals that love was immediate and that they were sure this time around. Both had lived their lives separately and gotten great experiences with life and did not want to waste any time delaying the whole process. When asked about why she had stopped performing after her breakup with Ben, she revealed that it was so painful after we broke up. Once we called off that wedding 20 years ago, it was the biggest heartbreak of my life. I honestly felt like I was going to die. It sent me on a spiral for the next 18 years where I just couldn't get it right. But now, 20 years later, it does have a happy ending. It has the most would never happen in Hollywood ending. She further revealed that Ben is her biggest cheerleader and loves her to the moon and back. He takes care of her very well and pays attention to utmost details of her life. To quote her, he's my biggest fan, which is awesome and supporter. When he came back into my life again, the same thing happened where I felt so inspired and so overtaken with emotion that it was just pouring out of me. Turns out the two are happy and love their life right now, both seem to be happy to have found each other back. Love does prove to work in miraculous ways, from reuniting 20 years of lost love to whatnot. What do you think about the Benefer couple? Would they last or will they break up? Comment down your thoughts below. And please subscribe to our channel if you have not till now.